Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to Viewer Paid Viewer Requests. That's right, Paid Viewer Requests. And today I've got a, uh, I've got a request here. This came from Max. He says, Dear Archie, I'm a big fan. I am willing to donate $50 for your advice via a YouTube video. Thank you, money came in. I'm a 25-year-old law student about to enter the world of corporate law nastiness. During my degree, I managed to work part-time at with various vicious fuckers to save up some money. I am about to embark on purchasing my very first luxury watch, a Datejust 116234 Jubilee with blue dial, which I feel will go well with a suit on the weekdays and something more casual during the weekend. All your thoughts would be greatly appreciated. P.S. Send me your PayPal details and I'll swiftly respond. Kind regards. Yada yada yada. Please don't mention my name kindly. Refer to me as Max. So that's for Max. Because there's nasty, vicious fuckers out there. Okay, Max, let's discuss this here. So, uh... 25-year-old law student about to enter the world, corporate world. My advice to you is, my advice is, why do you need a double one six two three four when a sixteen two three four? That's what Archie wears on the pre-owned market would be the better bang per buck. Better bang per buck, fuckers. And uh, I, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd be getting in touch with my good friend, Kenny Nguyen, Jewelers on Time, seeing what deals he can do for you. Tell him that Archie sent you. And uh, i got to say, I, I, I would be going for the 16234. The double one, that's the later incarnation. It's the current model. You're going to pay a lot more for that when it's essentially the same watch. Get this pre-owned. Pre-owned, fuckers. That's what I spruik. So I, I'd get in touch with uh, Kenny Nguyen. Uh, if you're in America, if you're in Aus Australia, get in touch with Ronnie from Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Melbourne, you get in touch with Shani from European Watch Co. That's what I'd be doing. I wouldn't be fucking about buying a brand spanker because if you have the older one, it looks like you inherited it from your corporate high-flying father. That's what you say. Oh, he gave it to me when he retired. He doesn't wear a watch now. That'll go down well in the legal fraternity because they're all cunts. The legal fraternity is full of nasty cunts. They are vicious fuckers. Really, really Fucking nasty, vicious cunts, and uh, I, I, uh, I think you know what I reckon. I'm wearing. I love blue. Blue is my color. Blue shirt, blue tie, blue balls from dating Western women. <laughs> Western women, fuckers. Yes, blue balls. I reckon the um, a white dial with arabics or romans is the way to go that's what i i kind of think i i don't hate the blue dials but um i i'd personally be going <laughs> i'd personally be going a cream or white dial uh i i that's what i think the pick the pick of the bunch is there and you can if you can ah oh, it's a bit hard to see I'll, I'll make a video about this watch very soon but it's got a compute Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. It's a computer sort of dial with Arabics. And uh, I love it. I, I really love this watch. It's fucking gorgeous. And uh, I, I was going to sell it, but I'll tell you the truth there. I'm thinking to myself, fuck me dead. Where am I, Where else am I going to get something so fucking versatile for the money? And I'm thinking, fuck it. Archie, keep it. Keep it. It's a cool watch. So, um... My my advice would be to um look dial color doesn't really matter. I must admit I had silver with stick markers. That was a a very very nice one I had as well. But uh Datejust is the perfect 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 white collar watch there and uh you know it's it's just it's just a cool watch. 
It's fucking, the Datejusts are really, really cool. I love them. I absolutely love those fuckers. And, um, I mean, down the track, look at this. Look, look at this. Okay, so, so you got a white dial Datejust. You could add a fucking sexy white dial Explorer 2 as your sports watch. You're fucking set. Those two watches will see you through life, fuckers. They will see you through fucking life. And uh, <laughs> later down the track, if you want to get something a bit more dressy, you can get something like a Reverso. That'd be a perfect trilogy of pieces. Steel, three steel stunners, fuckers. Three steel stunners. And uh, I, I, I love, I love the... Um, the date just, I think, is a great starting block, and don't sell it. Keep it for life. Keep it for life. That's what I, my advice to you in the slimy, slimy legal eagle world there. Keep it for life. That's what I reckon would be a cool thing to do. So, there you go. That's, that's Archibald Chesterfield's advice. Tell me what you think, fuckers. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you, nasty, vicious, Foul mouth fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. Fuckers! We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years. Like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.